If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to trial our new player review system. And uh, as we progress through, I will talk to you exactly what that entails. You'll see visual uh, aids on the screen as well. So anyway, uh, Souza, Souza, Sousa, not sure how to say his name. Either way, he is a brand new league SBC reward uh, from the uh, Saudi league. Uh, Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, high-medium work rates for a player that essentially you're going to want to use as a CDM. Uh, did use him actually as a CM slash cam for like one game until I realized that he's absolutely useless going forward. I say that, it was just to see whether you could use him as a, not a cam necessarily, but more of a box-to-box -box midfielder. And I'll be honest, just straight away, he was kind of better as a CDM. Now, with that being said, his stats, obviously with the powerhouse cam style on screen is the one that we're going to go with. His stats are boosted tremendously. Without them, 90 stand tackle, of course, with the, the powerhouse, we're going up to 90. The slide tackle's up from 83 to 93. The defensive awareness up from 86 to 96. Actually turns into a 94 rated CDM. And in yesterday's 6pm content, I did say... Uh, that uh, I would I would look to put a powerhouse on him because that I mean some of the cards that they released yesterday in those league SBCs if you put just one particular chem style they turn into like 94 95 rated players and I was saying that even though those team of the season cards that are going to come out at some point when that will be we just don't know but when they do end up coming out and they're already sort of 90 rated you give them chem styles and they go to like 96 97 these cards aren't actually that far away from that quality already so a lot of people will turn their nose up at these cards because they don't know the players, for instance. But this guy is a genuine contender for being the best CDM around right now. Now, of course, he's not the cheapest of players because price-wise it's going to run you upwards of about 200k, actually. It's between 170 and 200,000 coins, which is a lot of money to spend on a League SBC player that will be untradeable. But you do get packs back for it. If you are doing League SBC method, then, of course, it's not going to cost you anywhere near that, and you are going to be running through it efficiently. But with the uh, with the powerhouse cam style, of course, we do boost the passing as well. That takes him up to 99 short passing, 85 vision, and just has some really, really nice defensive stats across the board. I didn't feel the need to boost the dribbling, uh, because as a CDM, he's going to be dropped between the two centre-backs in a 4 one 2 and 2 and I, don't, I just don't really dwell on the ball too much with the uh, the CDMs in particular. You know, they just sort of they just sort of operate in that uh, breaking down the the play sort of role, and then they play the ball forward and so on. But that's the team that we've got him in right there. Uh, with that, finally got it used for that Saudi right back or Saudi league right back, I should say. Obviously, being Brazilian, just showing the versatility there because he links into Neymar, but also links into Mendes in the middle. Um, I was allowed to use Awan, of course, a red maximum at uh, left wing. But um, no, that's the team. A lot of you may notice that Ronaldo's face is just peeking up above the bench there. There's just no room for him in, in a team at the, at these days because all of the good players come from other leagues other than the Italian league, which is really frustrating. Last year, there was a lot of good Italian players. This year, there seems to be an abundance of uh, good French league and... Um, well, there's a few others, but French League in particular, EA have really gone to town on the French players this year for some reason. I digress. Uh, some of the clips here are going to be uh, relevant to his CDM role. Others will be relevant more to his attacking uh, prowess. That was him, of course, just bursting through on the left. Uh, sorry, on the right, getting in and, and taking a shot with the weak foot. But he does have a four-star weak foot, which is actually quite nice. Uh, that was a, a, a decent little effort there, but just wider the mark. His finishing is very poor, and that, unfortunately... Is um is not uh, it, it, it does I say unfortunately it depends if you want to play him as a box to box then of course now and again you'll get into a position with him where going for goal makes sense but unfortunately because his finishing is horrendous it's going to hinder him but if you do want to just use him as an out and out CDM that's not going to bother you and he does actually have 82 long shots with 89 shot power allowing you to sometimes take shots from distance now unfortunately in FIFA 20 taking shots from distance. They don't really, uh, it doesn't really pan out half the time. It, it's not really a, a good idea to be doing that. But um, yeah, just just note that uh, that he can do. Now, in terms of the, uh, the the weaknesses here, the balance. Now, the balance in particular 
was something that uh, as a box to box I would have been a little bit concerned about but again if you use him as a CDM I've used players with terrible agility and balance and they work just fine his jockey his jockey's quite good actually um, you know I, I, I would assume everybody uses the jockey uh, you obviously use that to shuffle between uh, blocking passing lanes good little ball there to say maximum defender equal to it but um yeah, you use the uh, the jockey, obviously, to sort of try and block those passing lanes, and he's just capable of doing it. His positioning is actually, well, his positioning is, is uh, there's two points to it, right? So his defensive positioning can be really, really good, and what I mean by that is he puts himself in a passing lane, and he will block that passing lane really, really well. The other side of his positioning is sometimes he isn't there. And I'm thinking, right, well, there's an attack on here and I need to defend it. Where the hell is he gone? And you're looking and he's just sat there in left mid. And you're like, well, why are you over there? And now, I use 4 one 2, and 2 all the time. And I use Kante or I use Roy Keane or I mean, just an abundance of players, you know. Uh, Tonali being one of them as well. And with those players, they never really seem to wander out of position. His high attacking work rate is it's going to have to be the reason that he does this. It just has to be. So just be aware that even though he's on drop back between the centre backs, he will roam. Now, this is the brand new screen. Now, I don't know how you feel about it. I'm willing to add, deduct or whatever, tweak it in any way. On the left hand side, we have the pros and the cons. I've added an extra two slots so that we can talk more in depth about the weaknesses and sometimes in the strength, of course. Uh, we've got the foot champions, whether he's a starter or not. Now, of course, we've basically what I've done is I've just added everything we had in the last screen, but I've got into a little bit more detail with it. And in the middle, of course, you can still see the gameplay play out because I, I feel like in player reviews, we sort of we, we dwell too much on live gameplay and it's... I'm not saying it's not easy to tell how I feel about the card, but I'd rather sit down and break it down properly about how the card plays and how I feel about him and so on. I've gone with an average match rating in the bottom left, so you can see on average how well he plays. What I should have, really, is an average for the position. Now, I don't actually know how, and even if I could possibly work that out, I really don't know. But for an average of that position, uh, say, for instance, it was 7.5 and his average match rating is 7.9, you can see what or how good he is compared to the average. I think what I'll do is I'll base it on my averages. So I will change that bottom left for tomorrow's set of reviews. Um, the card on the right, of course, the flag of the nation that he's in, the, um, the, the player name, and above that is the class. I'm not getting rid of the class system. I put it above the player name. I might make it a little bit more obvious, but uh, he is a class two player. And, of course, middle, bottom, right, if that makes any sense at all. We've got the overall rating. Giving him a 93, but in Class 2. So he's not like a 93-rated player in all of FIFA. But in terms of a Class 2 player, which is obviously a very, very good player, but not quite in the top 10%. And, of course, the enjoyment level, in terms of a CDM, I did really enjoy the card. I feel like the wandering out of position can be a bit problematic. But apart from that, he does everything right. The value for coins is quite low. And the reason that that is low is because obviously you have to go through an entire league SBC to get there. Now, in terms of similar players, I've got that in the middle for you right now. This is just from Footbin. These are all the, the similar players that are based around his stats. Now, of course, that uh, Vestrata, if I say, say his name, he's got an upgraded card, of course, to an 88, which is matching this one. Now, on paper, I would actually say that apart from the passing... Uh, Souser is actually better. So if you want to put a little comparison there, 87 Delaney on paper, nowhere near, in some cases at least, nowhere near as good as Souser. Phillips League SBC, that's kind of irrelevant. Um, we've got some icons dotted around the place as well. Like, for instance, Guardiola's 90-rated card. I don't know if you actually can see that on screen. I can on mine. Guardiola's 90-rated card is actually on par with this in some places, but actually Souser beats him for dribbling, beats him for physical uh, same in defending, beats him in shooting, and he's quicker than him. And yet that 90-rated Guardiola is probably somewhere in the region of, yeah, 400,000 coins. So this card is less than half the price of that. Now, if we go back to the review breakdown, we can see that the interceptions, tackling, fast on the jockey, the weak foot, and the strength are the strength that I've, uh, yeah, the strengths that I've picked up. The weaknesses, unfortunately, that positioning does come over. The balance, I don't really see it as a 
a weakness necessarily because all CDMs have got low. The majority of them have got low balance. Uh, the work rates for me, they they together with the positioning, they are the problem. The only real problem in the card. And of course the shooting, it's just there because it's a low stat. I wouldn't necessarily class it as a weakness, but it is there anyway. And there we go. There is your Souser and your new brand new review breakdown screen. Let me know whether you enjoyed that and whether you want to see more of these. I do enjoy making these. I'm a bit of a stat guy, right? So I love stats and I, I like creating a big stat screen that's just got a lot going on. So if you want to see more of this, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, obviously, for more content. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.